For many, large homes were considered a staple of family life. But that notion, like so many about the housing market, has changed in recent years. Tonight, we go in depth to explain how empty nesters, perhaps nowhere more than right here in the Birmingham Metro, are hanging on to their homes. They are the homes often used to raise children, but it seems empty nesters aren't willing to part with them. Those people are staying there. They've got the space. They've got the equity, and many of them would want to take advantage of it. But the issue is if we do sell or move, where are we going to go? A recent analysis by Redfin shows 31% of large homes in the Birmingham metro were owned by empty nester baby boomers. It's the second largest share of any U.S. metro behind Pittsburgh. Birmingham associate broker Marcus Brown says there's a handful of reasons for it. That you have a lot of institutional buyers coming in and purchasing some homes that would be affordable homes, in particular for first-time buyers. So when those homes get sold on that market, the rents again are going up. And it still makes sense to be able to purchase a home if you're able to do so. The New York Times reports millennials, people between the ages of 26 to 41, now outnumber baby boomers. So when can they start to catch up in the home market? Brown says the answer begins and ends with development. That's going to be what's going to correct it. Getting more supply out there to meet the demand. And that may take a couple of years, actually, as far as home buying season and things like that. But I think that will be the correcting factor. Another factor for baby boomers who may be looking to downsize are interest rates. Brown says while they may go down, it's unlikely we'll see the same rates so many enjoyed over the last decade. 